For practice itself, check 2.25 number total. We were asked what is the output of the following loop. We have int total is equal to 25 here. So we start out with our for loop. And our for, for loop is saying that we have a number that's z one. And for as long as our number is less than or equal to total divided by two, we are going to be in this loop. So the first iteration of this loop, we can use red. And the first time we are going through this loop, total is equal to total minus number. So our current total is 25 and we subtract one from it because one is our number. And so we are gonna get that our new total is 25 minus one so this is now going to equal 24. Now we have a system.out.println total space and then a and then the number. So here we're going to have 24 space 1 like this. We're going in our loop again. We can check that our total divided by 2 is less is is still greater than number and Currently, our total is 24, we divide it by 2, which is 12, and our number being 2 means that we are still in our loop. So we have total is equal to our new total minus number. So our number is now 2. So total is going to equal 22 now. And we have 22 space and then number. Currently it is 2. Now we have our total. We'll just write this as t to save space here. And that's going to equal total, which is 22, minus number, which now is 3. So our new t, or total, is going to equal 19. So when we print, it's going to be 19, and our number is 3. We have to check that our number is still less than or equal, our total divided by 2. Total being 19, we have to round it down to 18. Dividing it by 2 gives us 9. Number is 3. Well, now number is 4, since we're running through this loop again. And so we are still OK to be in this loop. We're going to say t. Now we're back in our loop. We're going to say t is equal to total which is 19 currently, minus number, which now is 4. And that's going to give us 15. So we are going to print 15 space number, and the number is 4. Next, we can check if we're still going to be in our loop. 15 divided by 2 is going to be 7, and our number is 5, so we are still good. We're going to say t is equal to 15 minus 5, because our number is now 5. And that's going to give us 10. So when we print this out, we're going to have 10 and 4, or we're actually going to have 5, because we're on the fifth iteration of the loop. So now we can check if we are still in our loop or not. Our total is now 10. And if we divide this by 2, we're going to get 5. Now our number is equal to 6. Since number is greater than our total divided by 2, which right here, it says that our number has to be less than or equal our total divided by 2 to be in the loop. Since our number is greater than, we are actually going to hop out of the loop. So now we've finished the loop. And there's no more code, so this is going to be our answer. 24 space 1. And on the next line, 22 space 2, the next line, 19 space 3, next line, 15 space 4, the next line, 10 space 5.